colourful and fantastic and it's all about community, it's great. Fun, great, you meet new friends. I think it's a lovely way to bring the community together and also show off something pretty unique in Alice Springs to visitors. Alice Springs is the Beanie Festival capital of the world. I think we can safely say that now. So I'm Jo Nixon, I'm the Chief Beanieologist of the Alice Springs Beanie Festival and I've been the Chief Beanieologist for a very long time. So in 1997 my auntie, Aidy Dunlop, was out at Yundamu crocheting a beanie and they said, oh, we really want to learn how to do that. So she gave up the literacy workshop, sat down and they made beanies all week. And she came back into town with this big bag of beanies and said, Joey, what are we going to do with all these? We thought, well, let's have a party and see if we can sell them for the ladies. Heidi sat down with some of us and taught us how to crochet and we became beanie addicts as well. I have been a beanie addict for I can't really quite remember, but I have been involved with the Beanie Festival for probably about 13 years. About 120 volunteers we have now who come from around the world and they're the backbone of the festival. They feel like they're family and they come and we have such a great time just getting to know each other again and listening to our stories and sharing. It's a very big sharing time. The beanies are good, but the volunteering is even better because I just get to meet so many people, local and, uh, and interstate. It brings me closer to uh, the local community. We don't get to meet many Aboriginal women in uh, Melbourne, and I just love being part of their workshops. Um, I got involved with the Beanie Festival year 2013 when the staff member from the Beanie Festival went out there to Willow to run the Beanie Workshop. Like I was excited to come in to do this workshop and work with other people, sharing the skill with other people, the visitors, the first time they come to do their hats. And that's one of the reasons that I've held strong at the festival is that Indigenous content and having the money to include the people of Central Australia. So it's everybody's speedy festival. You know, nobody owns it, we all own it together, we all run it together and it's a big love fest. Oh, and don't forget the, the exhibition and the competitions for the beanies. Every year there's a different theme. So when you are doing a competition beanie, it's about thinking about the theme and also thinking outside the square. What else can you do to make that beanie just look that bit special? And you should see the prizes. The trophies are absolutely fantastic and they're made by the Aboriginal women. It's really such an honour and really exciting to announce the winners tonight. It's such a lovely atmosphere here at Araloon and it really helps the art centre to shine. So we have Beanie Central where there's six and a half thousand beanies come from around the world where tourists come in and try them on or visitors and locals try on their beanies and fight for the beanie stash. And then out the front of Araluan and in the foyers we have the needle felting workshops with the Indigenous women, the children's corner, we have food stalls, we have a stage with the big beanies with some live music and the bars open and it's a really lovely friendly catch up time for people, everybody loves it. So we're just hitting our 26th year this year. Every year since the Beanie Festival began, we've had more beanies entered in the festival, we've had more beanies sold at the festival, we've had more money taken at the festival. Every single year we've broken the records. I don't know how much bigger we can make it, but it seems to get bigger and we seem to be able to pull it off. It's a dependable festival. You know what you're going to get and you're generally going to walk away with more beanies than you expect that you're going to. First time we've made it, we've been back three days in a row. So it's really great fun. It brings, brings together lots of people in the community and lots of visitors. And yeah, and we will just keep growing with it because that's what happens. Somehow we work it out, we get bigger and better and, you know, people walk down the streets of Melbourne and get stopped. Is that an Alice Springs Beanie Festival beanie you're wearing? Yeah, sure is. Oh, it's just fantastic. What more can I say? <laughs>